We've all been there. You're repacking your bag at the end of a trip and nothing seems to fit back inside the same way. That's why we made this video to help you out. Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. In this video, we'll be sharing some packing tips to help you get home without stressing over how to make your gear fit. Plus stay tuned to save some cash at Backcountry, this video's sponsor. Let's kick it off, cut it. If you've seen our videos, you know that we're fans of packing smarter and not harder. It's easy to stay organized if you optimize your gear and how to travel with it. However, one bagging is more than just arranging everything in the right way. The trick to an easy trip is planning ahead. So let's talk about some ways to do just that. First, create a flight outfit. This is what you'll wear every time you hop on a plane, whether you're puddle jumping or long hauling for 10 hours. Pick whatever clothing is most comfortable, though we also recommend wearing whatever's bulkiest, whether it's a pair of stretchy jeans, a hoodie, or a pair of chunky sneakers. These items are some of the hardest to pack, so you're saving space and weight in your carry-on. Next, take a picture of the inside of your bag once it's loaded with gear. This takes the pressure off your brain to remember how everything was loaded inside. Then when you're repacking, you won't have to Tetris everything all over again. It's also worth taking the time to recreate the same rolls and folds that you did with your clothing. The closer that you can replicate the first way that you packed, the easier your life is gonna be, trust me. Last, you can divide and conquer gear between other travelers in your group. If your pack is overflowing during the late night packing session, see if anyone else has space for a t-shirt or two. This works really well for couples that are traveling and we could probably make an entire video on this topic. So let us know down in the comments below if that's something you wanna see. That said, your return trip is always smoother with the right gear. At Backcountry, this video's sponsor, you'll find everything you need to sail through security from a travel wallet that's great for holding all of your documents all the way to the perfect bag to help carry your gear home. Their detailed product pages and filters make it easy to find what works for you. Sort by brand, size, activity, and more to narrow down your choices. Then comb through technical specs and features to ensure the product has what you need. It makes such a difference when repacking. Choose a bag like Osprey's Transporter Global Carry-On for plenty of built-in organization to keep things tidy. Or pave your own way with packing cubes and pouches from brands like Topo Designs, Patagonia, and Eagle Creek to bring home extra souvenirs. If you're unsure of what to choose, turn to Backcountry's Gearheads. They're available 24 seven via web chat, email, or phone, and have gear knowledge to help you make the best decision. When prepping for your next trip, use the link and code down in the description below for 15% off your first purchase at backcountry.com. Now, let's get back to repacking our bags. Once it's time to load everything up, let your bag do the work for you. Built-in organization is a great way to keep track of your gear without thinking too hard. Plus, you worry less about leaving items behind if everything has a dedicated spot. If you see an empty zippered pocket or a pouch inside of your bag, then you'll know something is missing. I'm a super visual person, and this is one of my favorite ways to pack. I use it all the time, pretty much for any trip. Travel bags come in all shapes and sizes, so it's important to learn your pack inside and out. Some have pretty obvious features, like an admin panel with a bunch of dedicated spots for gear like a pen, charging cable, and notebook. Others have zippered compartments that keep small items like your wireless headphones from getting lost in the deep black hole of your pack. If you're going the built-in storage route, look for stretchy pockets that will expand to fit a bunch of gear so you can really take advantage of that space. Topo Design's 40 liter global travel bag is a great example of a pack with tons of built-in storage. There are three zippered compartments to choose from each with pockets inside. The main compartment even has a zippered panel to keep your clothing from falling out. The pockets have a decent amount of give, so you can really pack them full of odds and ends. We included this pack on our vacation packing list because of its easy organization, so check that out in the description below. Built-in organization also makes it easy to keep gear inside your pack when you get to where you're going instead of removing everything and relying on your memory to load it back in. That's half of your repacking already done for you. If you like the freedom and flexibility of an open bucket, you can still stay organized. Cubes and pouches make a huge difference in the smallest gear getting lost in the depths of your bag. However, if you have a ton of pouches, it can be a feat in itself remembering what you put where. So how can we make this easier? I'm gonna give you a couple tips and tricks to do just that right now. Colorful cubes are great for color coding your gear. Maybe you split your clothing between tops and bottoms and choose a different color for each. 
or maybe you group together layers when you travel somewhere cold and keep them near the opening of your pack. Either way, it makes for an easy to remember system so you're not asking yourself where something goes at 11 p.m. when you're last minute packing for your return trip. Another great option is mesh because you can easily see what's inside. It may be difficult if you wear a lot of the same color, but for the most part, you can tell what's a t-shirt and what's a pair of pants. Also, some packing cubes come with two compartments separating your dirty and clean clothing. Some of our Pack Hacker Pro members also use dry bags, like the UltraSil dry sack from Sea to Summit, to compress dirty laundry, since wrinkles are pretty irrelevant at that point. We're also fans of the Packet line from Eagle Creek because they come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and styles. Go for mesh tops, compression zippers, or clean and dirty compartments. The combinations are practically endless. I feel like at this point, one of my favorite pastimes is just looking at all the different shapes, sizes, and styles that Eagle Creek has in packing cubes because there are a lot of them, a ton. For everything else you have to organize, throw a pouch party and keep small gear from getting lost. The Peak Design Tech Pouch's accordion style organization is simple to pack and great for all your tiny tech. Or keep it simple and opt for something like Topo Design's accessory bags, which are essentially dump pockets that come in a ton of different sizes. Plus, they adapt to what you put inside, so they're not really gonna get bulky unless you really load them up. Sometimes getting the most out of your vacation means going for a midnight swim or doing laundry in the sink just to freshen up. Depending on where you're traveling, wet gear can take longer to dry. Hot, tropical climates are often more humid, which means your bathing suit may hold moisture overnight. This is where dry bags come in. They'll stop wet gear from spreading in your pack. Seal Line's Baja View dry bag keeps everything from a damp beach towel to some wet socks away from all of your clean clothing and gear, though it can be a bit oversized for one bag travel. If you're checking a bag, it is also a great option for holding larger bottles of liquid, like a bottle of French wine or some limoncello from Italy, or personally my favorite, a nice bottle of Fernet. You can worry less about spills while your bag is tossed around in the plane's cargo hold. Or if you don't wanna use a pouch, the Thule Aeon 28 liter backpack even includes a TPU compartment divider, similar to the Topo Design's Global Carry-On, or size up to the 40 liter, which comes with its own removable TPU roll top bag. Shoes are also best kept in a dedicated dry bag or shoe pouch. Or to keep it real, the plastic bag from your last grocery run. Anything works. Your boots will easily pick up mud as you walk along the white cliffs of Dover, and your tennis shoes may collect rocks as you hike around Icelandic geysers. It can be nice to bring home a physical memory from your trip. Whether it's a gift for you or someone you love, it's still got to get from point A to point B. So what do you do if your pack is already filled to the brim? Well, it all starts with the planning. First, aim to purchase functional items like a new hat, pair of sunglasses, or water bottle. You can also leave certain gear at home and buy them when you arrive. Instead of packing her own, our editor Lauren got a scarf from a street vendor in Rome and used it to cover her shoulders in St. Peter's Basilica. Then, use it on the plane as an extra layer. Next up, you have to consider the size of what you're buying. Large items like a novelty mug or ornament can be harder to pack and are more fragile than something like a magnet or keychain. If you've gotta have it, then you can always ship it home, though it can get pretty pricey. If you do decide to pack it, throw away any unnecessary packaging to help cut down on space and weight. Instead, wrap fragile items in some of your clothing to keep them safe. Ultimately, you can always stick to taking photos and getting them framed when you're back home. If you tend to buy a lot of trinkets for yourself, this is a solid option that can help you save space in your bag and then just have really personalized memories when you get home. If all else fails, pack an extra bag in your carry-on and break it out when you need it most. Packable bags are super convenient because you get a ton of extra literage without taking up too much space. Matador's on-grid packable day pack is lightweight, durable, and packs into itself. Even with its small footprint, it expands to give you 16 liters of storage space for extra gear, or if you want to lighten the load of your carry-on. It's also super comfortable for daily use if you're in need of a travel day pack to haul your everyday essentials. If you don't want to bring a packable backpack just in case, you can also use a shopping bag as your personal item as long as it fits under your seat. Kind of like that grocery bag that we mentioned earlier. This comes in handy if you grab a souvenir or two before realizing that your carry-on is full. As for all the other small, awkwardly shaped items like a water bottle or hat, get creative and use a carabiner to dangle it from the outside of your bag. It'll keep the gear within reach without taking up valuable packing space. 
You can even hang that shopping bag if you don't want to carry it for a while. A win-win. So there you have it, some tips on how to get all your gear home and repack your bag painlessly. Let us know down in the comments below how you repack your bag, because remember, some of the best tips come from you, the Pack Hacker community, right here on YouTube. Thanks for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. See you in the next video.